everyone talking about Velvet Orchid by Tom Ford. The notes in this are bergamot, rum, honey, orchid, Turkish rose, jasmine, purple orchid grown in the wilds of the southern Brazilian coast, orange blossom, rose, narcissus, hyacinth, heliotrope, peru balsam, myrrh, labdanum, sandalwood, suede, and vanilla. And I call out that one about purple orchid grown in the wilds, blah, 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 because they had claimed that that's like a whole new accord. Like, I don't think they actually use that ingredient, but they re tried to recreate the smell of that. And it, that hasn't been done in any, any other fragrance. But yeah, this is boozy, sweet, floral, and balsamic with kind of like a syrupy patchouli-like accord during the dry down. I do not typically like any of those fragrance genres, so I don't like this one either. It's just not something that smells good for my taste. But I do think it smells high quality and I do think it smells really well done for the categories that it's in. So if you do like those accords, like boozy, sweet, floral, balsamic, and something kind of patchouli-like in the dry down, I definitely think it's worth trying. Uh, it just not my scented up, not my type of scent, but that's also true about the majority of Tom Ford fragrances. They're just usually not my thing. So that's no diss against this one in general in terms of the quality or anything like that. This is definitely best for cold weather. It could really get overly heavy, thick, and cloying in warm weather. And overall, I would say it's like a combination of elegant and then femme fatale type of like badass vibes. Leans feminine, but not like hyper feminine. $150 for a 50 milliliter, which is not that. I think you could get it cheaper some places too. Not that bad as far as Tom Ford pricing goes. Pretty good longevity and projection as well, and I'll link in the description where you can get a bottle or a sample.